Hey everyone, welcome to my new book review. First of all, thank you to DK for sending these beautiful books to me at the end of last year. I am now going to have a number of books on my channel that you can look inside and see if that's something that you enjoy and something that you would like to add to your book library. Personally, I love books. I find them so relaxing and so calming, which is exactly what I love doing in January when it's still cold. I like to have a nice cup of tea and finding that time for relaxing and taking care of our bodies and minds. With that in mind, I have picked a number of books that I thought would be really enjoyed by you and myself included, of course. And so here today we have the Artist Painting Techniques. This book in particular is one of their bestsellers and it says here it's been sold over 150,000 times. So it's a good book to have. Here you will explore watercolors, acrylics and oils, discover your own style, grow as an artist. So I thought that's a perfect book to be featured on this channel. The reason being is that I am a mixed media artist and I have been doing commissions and enjoying creating in different media. So what's so special about this book is that it's actually separated into three mediums. So let's have a look inside. So with the contents, you will quickly understand the layout of this book. So what we have here is we've got the basics, which talks about getting started, observing um, your subject matter, color theory, perspective, pencil drawing, choosing mediums, working outdoors, and even how to mount and display your work. So all of those things are a great way to start with before diving into the different mediums. So we start with watercolors, and that's the kind of the first part of the book. And it says here, painting with watercolors, watercolor paints, brushes, support, and other materials. So before you go into beginner techniques, intermediate techniques, and advanced techniques, you can kind of start with something lighter beforehand. Then you can see the same layout for acrylics and oils. So you always talk about the paints first, uh, the tools, and also other supports and materials that go with this medium. And then, of course, we've got, again, the breakdown into three different levels. If you're a beginner, you can grow up to an advanced level, or if you are intermediate, then you can still have some growth. Or, of course, if you're advanced, then you just focus on the advanced. So this book kind of really ticks all the boxes. You don't need to buy three separate books if you want to learn about the three different mediums. You can just learn it in one book and also in three different levels. So personally, this is this is why I picked this book and for obvious reasons, this is why it's one of their best sellers. So with getting started, you're exploring different techniques, making a connection and choosing materials and, you know, creating emotions, etc. So observational skills, textures, and then we have color theory. So this is before you dive into the watercolor part of it. This is talking about all of the three different mediums and applying the color theory through out those mediums. Perspective and composition, pencil drawing, using pencil to create tone, choosing a medium. So it kind of has a quick breakdown here. If you're completely new and don't know which medium to start with, you can quickly look at the pros and cones and decide what works for you at that particular moment. Choosing a subject, working outdoors, and mounting and displaying your artwork, which is an important part once you become more confident with painting. 
That's essentially where we all want to go, right? <laughs> and then even start charging for your art and selling it. Now, that's the cherry on the cake. But uh, before you get there, you need to learn and take time to experiment. And that's what the book is great for. It's kind of like your perfect guide to become an artist. So brushes, support material, etc. So we have now begun with watercolors and it, just to give you a flip through, it has step-by-step -step techniques. So for example, when we are talking about mood and how to evoke atmosphere, uh, it sort of guides you through and explains to you in short bits of text how to achieve it and what to do for that. So I really like the layout of having like a larger painting or a photograph and then sort of breaking it down into smaller bits. It reminds me of the DK encyclopedia type of um, style of a book, which I personally absolutely adore this layout in books. I find that they take a vast amount of um, information and break it down and make it kind of easier for you to digest and learn from. So it becomes very organized and instead of just being overwhelmed with a lot of information, you can easier kind of take it in. We even have some skin tone mixes as well, which also recommends you the classic kind of color combination to mix different skin tones. Now we're going into acrylics. So let's have a look. I think in terms of the quantity, it's about the same. So let's see, we start on page 32 and end on 116 for watercolor. So that's about 80 pages. And then acrylics from 120 to 204, again, about 80 pages. And 208 to 292, which is also about 80 pages. So yeah, equal amount. So it's not concentrating on one uh, particularly more than on the other. So let's have a look at the acrylics. Again, the exact same layout, which for me, this type of learning works really well because I can quickly compare maybe certain elements between the mediums. And again, in my mind, everything needs to be structured. And this is, this is very good for my mind. <laughs> so we have brushes and palettes, knives. You'll see that the brushes for acrylic paints are of course different to the brushes uh, that you would use in watercolor. Sometimes the brushes in acrylics can also be used with oil paints. You can double them up. In fact, you can even sometimes use, depending what type of a watercolor brush it is, with acrylics as well. But you will learn as you go. And the, the best information to begin with, you will gather from this book. Then again, we have mixing. Mixing with acrylic is quite different to mixing with watercolor and in summary that would be by adding white you would go to lighter colors but with watercolor you can just do that with water because the beautiful kind of magic of watercolor is the translucency whereas the magic and the quality of acrylics is the beautiful texture that you get from the opacity you want to maintain that thickness of the acrylic paint. You do want sometimes a watered out um, acrylic here, but then you want some also stronger elements. And But if you've wanted to create a whiter, stronger element or lighter color, then you need to add the white paint rather than the water. And you just kind of adjust and adapt to the different... Um, so here we go, we have hard edges and we've got soft edges with the acrylic and you can see here it's quite translucent, whereas here you have that punch of colour and um, you can also, if you learn a little bit more about acrylics, you'll discover that there is 
a such a beautiful thing as heavy body and acrylic inks which are more resembling a watercolor if you prefer that watercolor look but want more opacity and more punch to your paintings then the acrylic inks would be a great way to go about it um, or otherwise if you want that texture that beautiful thickness to the paint and for it to dry as you layer it and then heavy body would be your best friend so here heavy structure gel thickens and smoothens acrylic paints allowing you to sculpt thick layers with a palette knife sponge or brush so you can also buy uh, just a thickening gel and add to any of your other kind of non-heavy body acrylics just regular acrylics and build upon the texture and there's loads and loads to learn from really comprehensive great artwork loads of color and everything in one place if you're someone who doesn't like clutter someone who doesn't like to collect too many books and want to have everything in one book then this would be great if you don't have that much space on your bookshelves left again great way of adding um, a book to your um, to your collection sorry if you can see the the light here i had to pull out my studio lights although the days are getting longer now uh, i still need to work <laughs> beyond those natural light hours okay now moving on to the final the third part of the book and that's the oils so here i have not much to comment on purely because i'm not very familiar with oil paints which is great because i feel i can learn here quite a bit and again cross-referencing between the two other mediums which i'm quite comfortable with already so mixing colors and for me personally oil paints i like to use oil sticks that i like because simply i can just use the stick don't need to do anything to it don't need to add any mediums because with oil paints like here very lean paint lean paint fat paint very fat paint so there's certain things products you can add to oil paints to play with them and to make them dry faster or uh, create a certain texture that all is very complicated to me so I might learn a little bit more about it uh, but I do like the texture that I can achieve from the oil sticks which is the only kind of oil paint that I like using but they don't always dry kind of looking wet like this some of them do but not all so I do like that and I wonder if I could learn how to maybe add something to those sticks to make it look a bit more creamier or kind of add more of the shine to some of the colors that are quite flat so that's that's something to be learned again skin tones that's a great thing that you have skin tone mixtures in all three mediums in fact i say in all three mediums but i'm going to go back now and check if we have that in acrylics because i don't quite remember seeing it so here you go beautiful and then of course at the end you have the glossary and the index okay so let's go back to acrylics real quick okay so that's this actually so here is the skin tone i do i do remember seeing it briefly yeah so that it also explains to you how to do it in acrylics too all right so i hope you found this book super inspiring and if you're looking for a new hobby to start <laughs> this year then you could definitely check this book out i will leave an affiliated link down below for your convenience and if you wanted to support this channel by purchasing this book from the link that's not at any additional cost to you but it will be a bit of a support to me so thank you so much for watching and until next book review